Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Sarah and this is Like So Amazing. So today's video is just going to be a quick one just to talk you through what I got up to at the Knitting and Stitching show yesterday. So it's now Saturday night. Uh, I am actually dressed up ready to go on a night out, a very rare night out. I'm wearing my um, True Bias Ogden Cami. So I thought that was quite nice for a night out. So yes, makeup, hair done, ready to go. Yesterday I went to the Knitting and Stitching show at Ali Pali. So I'd previously been to the one earlier in the year at Olympia and I decided to go again. The main draw for me this year was the fact that Stop and Still were gonna be there. So they had a stand, their fabric is absolutely stunning. If you haven't seen their website already, go and check it out, I'll leave the link below. But I thought I'd really like to see some of the fabric up close. They didn't have that much there in terms of range, but what they had was beautiful. I got myself a couple of pieces that I couldn't resist. This gorgeous leopard print jersey, and on the inside it has the softest, softest, cosy fleece. So that is going to be gorgeous. I'll probably make either a Linden or an Astoria sweatshirt for that. And if I've got enough left over, I'll make a little cardigan as well. It's lovely. I think the cat might want to sleep on it. It's that cosy. And the other piece I got was this lovely viscose with all these gorgeous colours. And this is destined to be a Nina Lee Bloomsbury blouse. So I'll be cutting that out hopefully this weekend. And this year the Little Red Dress project is running again. So just in case I've bought myself just some red sequins, I'm keeping it really still because the sequins have already gone everywhere. And I headed over to Higgs and Higgs and got some of this lovely textured, it's kind of a ponty weight jersey. Um, with It's almost like an argyle sort of print on it, if you can see that. And I'm going to make myself a Jenna cardigan by Muse Patterns for the Cozy Cardi Challenge. So I've got that and I've also got some, just some plain black ribbing as well, just to do the cuffs and everything. So I've got that pattern all printed out, ready to go. And then I also found a stand called Till the Sun Goes Down and she tends to specialise in vintage type fabrics. And I found this adorable Siamese cat print. And this is a viscose. It's so soft, it's really dreamy. And I might make another Bloomsbury blouse in this one if I get on all right with it. Or maybe I did pick up a pattern from Till the Sun Goes Down and it is the Clara Bow blouse. And she had some samples made up and they are just stunning. So you can see the little vintage details, the little buttons, it's got lots of darts. It looks so adorable. So I'm really looking forward to making that one up as well. Then the last two things I got were from the Beyond Measure store. So Grace runs Beyond Measure, it's really lovely. So I picked up some of these beautiful fine pins. If you can see them there. And these are perfect for when you're working with silks and fine fabrics. So I'm looking forward to using those. And then the other thing I got from her store were these amazing ceramic buttons. Um, they are tested, so they're machine washable as well, so that's amazing. So if you can see the detail there, it's sort of a bluey gray color. And I thought it would actually go perfectly with this fabric from Stoff and Steel. So I'm really pleased with those. I got enough for the Bloomsbury blouse. So I had a lovely day wandering around the stands, doing a bit of fabric shopping and chatting to all my sewing friends. So yeah, that was really lovely. If you do get the chance to go when it's back at Olympia early in the new year, you should, you definitely should. But what this has meant is it's added to my very long list of sewing plans. So I've got even more things to make. But yeah, really excited to get on with some of those. Today I started cutting out my Nina Lee Portobello trousers. Um, I won't have time to finish them tonight, but I'm going to crack on with those in the morning and then hopefully get onto a Bloomsbury blouse as well. So I'll be in full Nina Lee next time you see me, potentially. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Sorry, it's a short video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks so much. Bye bye.